Hello my sweet friends, Shurma here, a very warm welcome to my show and I am so glad you chose to stop by today and spend some time with me. Today I would love to share with you how to paint the pink rose bunch in one stroke style. The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. So let's begin. The first chapter deals with choosing the background for the floral painting. For starters, I have a couple of elements with me which I am going to share with you and that will help me to create the note card towards the end of the video. So the first element is the white card base and this is a side folding card around 4 inches and 5.5 inches in size. The next piece is again a white watercolor paper which is of size 4 inches by 5.5 inches. I have used liquid watercolors pink and green along with a stencil to make this pattern on the paper. The third piece is a black cardstock which is cut to size of 2.2 inches by 5.5 inches and I am going to use this as the background for today's floral painting. In case you would like to know how the second element was created then please click on the i button which appears on the right hand side of this particular screen and it will lead you to such a tutorial. Let's move on to chapter number 2 that is painting the pink roses in one stroke style. So here comes the palette. I have pink acrylic color, permanent rose, deep magenta and white acrylic and here is a flat brush number 6 and I am loading it with permanent rose and white. So this is double loading of the brush. I will also go ahead and use a bit of pink later as and when required. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 with permanent rose and deep magenta on it and I have created a very loose form of the rose. Next I have my flat brush number 6 in hand and it is loaded with permanent rose and white as well as a bit of pink on it. So here I am creating the pink rose in one stroke style of painting. Now one stroke is a very popular and interesting decorative painting technique where double and multi loading of the paintbrush is used to achieve highlights, shadows and color changes in one stroke of the brush. Now there will be three roses in the pink rose bunch painting but unfortunately I lost a bit of footage while doing the last row of the petals of the first flower but for the second one you will be able to see the complete process without any breaks. So here is the second rose in the making which is very similar to the first one. I love flowers and I believe that flowers are a gift of nature heaven and earth have bestowed on humans. Don't you think so? Flowers help to link closely feelings of joy and sadness in life. And there have been so many poets who have used the color and fragrance of roses as inspiration to create beautiful poems. And I am sure you have come across many of them. It is believed that pink roses represent femininity, refinement, sweetness and elegance. But a deeper pink symbolizes gratitude and appreciation making them a great way of saying thank you. Whereas a lighter shade of rose contains messages of joy and happiness. 
and if you have noticed the image of the pink rose bunch during the beginning of the video tutorial I have used the joy sentiment on the note card to match the color of today's roses At this point, I'm almost done with the second rose and as you can see, I'm adding a lot of white to highlight the second one and making it paler as compared to the first one. This is the third of the three roses and it is looking away from us. And it also happens to be smaller in size as compared to the first two. Hence, I'm using a flat brush number four for the third rose only. Now, this flat brush number four is loaded with the same set of colors. That is permanent rose, pink and white. So, remember, this is triple loading of the brush. Once I'm happy with the roses, I move on to chapter number three that is creating the leaves in one stroke style of painting. So here is the palette. I have deep green, acrylic color, olive green, bamboo green and white acrylic and I'm using a flat brush number six to load it with deep green, white and a bit of bamboo green this is triple loading of the brush and i am blending the colors well and that will help me to get good results all right so it's time to paint the greenery around the roses at first i go ahead and pick up my liner brush and it is loaded with deep green and I'm just painting around the petals of the roses. I know you are finding it difficult to see the green color because it is actually blending with the black. Hence, very hard to see. But I would be adding a bit of lighter green that is bamboo to it. And there you go. You can see how I'm painting around the edges of the roses at this point i go ahead and pick up my liner brush and i load it with deep green bamboo green and white and i am creating some stems around the flowers I will go ahead and add more of white to the green so that the stems are visible. So that is called highlighting the stems. Here I am adding more of deep green. Once done. I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number six and I load it with deep green, bamboo green and white and these are the beautiful one stroke style of leaves in the making. Do you like the floral painting so far and do you like these pretty one stroke leaves? Well. In case you are new to this particular style of painting or you would like to refresh your stroke skills then I would definitely encourage you to visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. I'm sure the video tutorials will help you to understand the one stroke process
If you are enjoying the painting process, then do let me know in the comment box below. I would be very happy to read your thoughts on the painting. And if you have any queries or suggestions, they are all welcome. These are small slider leaves to fill up spaces here and there. At this point, I'm adding a bit of white to the already done leaves to highlight them. Well, I think the painted panel looks good enough. So that leads us to the final chapter that is finishing the note card. So let's have a look at the elements which we have now. The first one is the white note card. Second one is a pink and green background paper. The third is the painted panel along with the joy sentiment to match. I put all of them together and this is how it looks. Well, that's a wrap on today's project. But did you enjoy watching me paint the pink rose bunch in one stroke style? Do let me know in the comments below and I would be waiting to hear from you. Also, please find me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to see you there as well. Immense gratitude for all your love and support to my channel and thank you as always for watching till the end. Here are some of my past floral video tutorials. You might like them too. We'll be back with more interesting floral video tutorials. Till then, stay tuned and take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.